Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm working on another prompt for our My Favorite Things art journal. And the prompt is, what is your favorite decade? Do you like the 50s with bobby socks and saddle shoes, poodle skirts? Uh, do you like the 70s and disco? Um, there's so many different things that you could do for this page layout. And mine is the 80s. I was an 80s girl and I was in high school in the 80s. So I thought this would be a really super fun thing to add to my favorite things art journal. So I'll show you how I created my page just for some inspiration and fun. You don't have to do your pages like mine. Do your pages the way you want to because it's your art journal. And But I'll show you how I did mine just for, for a little inspiration. So let's get started and have some fun. For this background, I'm going to do some uh, printing with a piece of plastic. So this is kind of a little thicker piece of plastic. It's thicker than just like um, saran wrap. And what I want to do is just put some color onto the plastic, spread it out. And then just start. going over it and you can take the end of your brush and go across and you'll make interesting marks with your paint as well. It makes such a beautiful texture. Look at that texture. It's so gorgeous. You can do it on a, um, a jelly plate too. I have that but this is a little bit, it comes out a little bit different when you're using just plastic. So what I want to do is I want to layer, I chose three colors and then a fourth that's really light in case I need to tone it down. And I'm just going to continually layer those three colors using this method. And then in between each one, I am going to wipe off my plastic with a baby wipe just so that I don't contaminate colors. And when I choose my colors, I always use a color wheel. I've done that for years and years. And... I've never had a failure as far as which colors go together. If I know I want to use a green in my layout, then I use my color wheel to choose what colors I want to use with that particular green. And so if you don't have a color wheel, I really suggest it because you just end up with the best layouts, the best colors that go together. And you don't make brown mud. So here I'm adding my second layer of color and look at that just really cool really interesting I kind of want this background to be just a little bit wild and crazy because the 80s were wild and crazy so I had these magazine articles they were um, I don't even know what magazine it came out of but they're all those little buttons that you used to buy like at the record shops and um, when it was the 80s we used to put them all over our purse down your jeans um, it was just a big thing to wear these buttons so i'm going to cut out a bunch of them that were memories of mine of different things you know there's like prince purple rain and david bowie and all kinds of all kinds of crazy stuff the go-go's so i'm going to cut out individually the ones that i want to put on here and i think i'm going to put them in clusters around my uh, edge of my layout to make a border and to make them stand out I think what I want to do is make a black border edge so I'm going to come in here with a paintbrush a dry brush and paint in some black not too specifically and then just kind of in some places feather it out just to make a roll interesting border all the way around the page like that. I love how that black border looks. That's exactly what I wanted. I've got the wild colors inside and then the black all around turned out. So I'm just taking my Posca pen and where my title is going to go, I'm making some crazy circles here. They're just sketchy, but that way the letters over it will make the letters and the title really pop out. So I love the white circles behind it. It made it pop. 
the rub on letters and then I use my Posca pen to write the word favorite for favorite decade and then down here I put the S on first so I'd know where to lay these out and I'm just gonna um, take some pliers here and bend off the brad tabs because I don't want to put the brad through to my next page in my journal so I'm going to just glue these letters or these numbers on so I'm just going to break off the tabs and then I can just put some uh, craft glue some aliens craft glue and glue these numbers on and do my rub-ons here for the word the So I cut out all my little buttons, my little circles um, with different things about the 80s and then I printed off some images of Madonna, Prince, Adam Ant, Abba, the Go-Go's, things like that. So now I'm going to use my matte gel medium to um, adhere everything down to the page. But before I do that, I have an idea I want to try that's going to go along great with this 80s theme. I have some black cotton material, nothing special, just plain black cotton material and I've got this piece about this big and what I want to do is to tear some make some tears in it so I'm just cutting a little notch and see if I can tear this across let me see if it'll work okay, I need to cut it a little more yes okay so I'm not going all the way across, I'm just cutting a tear in it like you kind of do with um, torn, ripped, distressed blue jeans. Kind of doing the same thing. <clears throat> and I'm going to make a couple of tears. not easy to tear. Come on. There we go. I'm going to make three tears in it. Okay, now I'm going to take some of the inner little fibers out, but I'm going to leave those strings in in between, just like you do with jeans. I'm making it really grungy and distressed. And I want to make this smaller, so I'm going to tear it across the bottom. Okay, and on this top one, I cut it really, really jagged, and I'm going to fold it across like this, because this is kind of what I'm wanting to do, is put this on the page, like this. It's going to go down on the page, and I want it to show something behind it, so I've got to choose what image I want to put behind the open spots. Okay, so I decided I'm going to put my picture of Adam Ant behind it, and I cut it a little bit more on the opposite side so that I can put these back like this to display that image inside and before I do that and before I glue it on and unless you were a teenager in the 80s you wouldn't get this reference but I'm going to put a safety pin on this before I glue the material down to the page so it becomes kind of a permanent fixture I know you're saying, oh, what is this girl doing? But hey, if you were a teenager in the 80s, you totally will get it. I like it. It's going to go off to the side a little bit more, though it's too far in. And now I'm going to use my matte medium, and I'm going to put down my images, these images first, and then I'm going to use matte medium to put this down. And then I will come back and show you the final results. So here is my material 
put on that's still wet that's why it looks white and milky but it'll dry clear and the picture underneath it and then the strings and the safety pan I love it it's a punk rock thing and um, if you were a teenager in the 80s you would totally totally be into this so anyway now I'm gonna take my Posca pan and I'm gonna go around um, my squares up here I think and just do a one of my sketchy little borders around the square I like that just make it look kind of connected I like that so I'm going to do the same thing over here on this one do my little sketchy And then I'm going to add the words, add some words right here with my pen. So here's my finished page. I'm totally in love with it. Turned out so much fun. So much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. And now it's your turn to go to your favorite things art journal and create a spread depicting your favorite decade. And this My Favorite Things Art Journal project is an ongoing thing. There's no start time or finish time. You can jump in anytime. So if you're just stumbling across these videos, there is a playlist. You can start at the beginning and create all the, the pages that we have worked on together and make your own totally fun My Favorite Things Art Journal. So grab an art journal, grab your supplies, and start to have some fun.